Yate, good evening. This is Peter Deswood the third. I am Tkachini, Kinachini Bashishin, Ashin Ashiche, and Toy Higlinis are my nollies. I am coming to you from Farmington. Originally grew up in Wukachigai, Arizona. So I just want to do another update about this coronavirus, the COVID 19. So just so everyone understands what's going on at 3 o'clock today in New Mexico, the governor of New Mexico had a press release, and in the press release she did a stay-at-home order for non-essential employees and job people in jobs to uh, stay at home. So when this was going on, I was also texting my siblings to see if their jobs were essential or non-essential. But this is definitely some things that I, I think about and, and even with my staff uh, at my high school and the, I also oversee a juvenile detention center. But whenever I look at it, the, the, the actions I think are, are, are important. You know, they, we have to take this pretty seriously. And the reason I say that is because yesterday when I had first uh, recorded the video about the number of cases so and I'll put this in the video as well it says total confirmed yesterday it was at three hundred and eleven thousand nine hundred and eighty nine and whenever I just took an update of this recently as of today uh, let me check the update time on this it was updated at 523 p.m. Mountain Standard Time it was at 378,287 worldwide. Okay, so that's that's how much it's grown since yesterday morning whenever I took the data from the Johns Hopkins University website, okay, where it's tracking the COVID virus. So as far as the deaths worldwide as well, yesterday when I recorded yesterday, it was at 13,407. And as of today, it's at 16,497. So that's a definitely about 3,000 increase. Okay, so that's those are some pretty drastic numbers. Um, I'll show you a map of the United States. And they the, the Johns Hopkins University site has put out this map, and they've updated it, and they put little red dots every time, every location where there's a case and whenever you look at it I'm looking at New Mexico right now uh, in the previous days it was listing listing them t in totality but as of now like if I go and click on McKinley County it says there's two confirmed when I click on the little red dot around Farmington San Juan County it shows three confirmed and then when I go over to the Arizona side it says Apache County four confirmed when I click on the Navajo County, it says 25 confirmed. And also in Coconino County, it says 17. So these are updates that were, were the CDC is updating Johns Hopkins University and their coronavirus uh, global case uh, center. And that, that's where they're presenting and indicating the, this data. But whenever you look at the map of the United States, it, it looks like chickenpox on it. And whenever I first started looking at this, it wasn't that much. You know, there wasn't, there was a couple of dots over in Seattle and California. And, but it, it's, it's just spread rapidly. In fact, I saw a video yesterday from someone in Delcon where the Navajo Nation police was going around. Essential activities only for health and safety to get necessary services or supplies. President Jonathan Nez also put a video out uh, about the Navajo Nation police going around NHA communities and other communities around the Navajo Nation telling and ordering people to stay home. That's that's how serious this is. I we're going on our 10th day actually I went to I had to go to my high school this morning to allow my staff to pick up their final belongings for their 
three weeks, two or three weeks of teaching at home. So that was the only reason I was there. And definitely kept my six, seven foot distance with people. Okay, so also at our at our high school location, we are, we do offer uh, lunches for for students to come and pick up anyone any student that's in the car. They're giving lunches to or meals to students. And I think this morning we gave out a hundred and a little over a hundred and five lunches. But you know th that's kind of what is really amazing about the community. Uh, communities in, in the area is people are or, or schools are giving out lunches I know this is pretty this is going on a lot of different places but it's it's pretty amazing to see happen when the community comes together like that so whenever I look at the the number of cases on the Navajo Nation you know I, I looked at that and I'm seeing again you know that number is is increasing as well uh let's let me let me just double check so i get my numbers correctly so i believe the last number i saw it said 29 29 cases i think if i look on the map on here the map the johns hopkins university map says 25 and and four, so that's at 29. Okay, so I mean, keep that keep that stuff in mind as as we look and move towards uh, you know overcoming and battling this this virus. And whenever people talk about it, I think it's you 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 can take it and you can process it and do the research and look at what is it is actually saying and you know process it and, and, and put it into your however you want to think about it but I think one thing that's important is that this is this is this is pretty serious and you know there are states that are that are moving completely online there are states that are moving or even closing schools and you know if the state of New Mexico is moving to to closing businesses that are non-essential, you know that's it's getting pretty serious when it comes to that. And some of the non-essential businesses or, or the essential businesses are healthcare operations, homeless shelters, food banks, grocery stores, gas stations, childcare service providers, farmers, ranchers, and other food cultivation, processing, or packaging operations. Also law enforcement first responders so there's a whole list I'll, I'll I'll put this on on the video as well um, I haven't seen anything yet of uh, Arizona putting a stay-at-home order in place aside from the Navajo Nation right aside from the Navajo Nation which that was absolutely amazing that that President Nez and Lizer's administration put that into place uh, because you know you know we got to flatten that curve we got to that's that's the only way that this is going to be going to be taken care of and to be to decrease that the number of people that are caught is for us to stay home. You know, the, today was our first day with our our daughter staying at home too, and you know those are some of the challenges that we face as as we move into these next two to three weeks. Is is uh, making sure that that we are taking care of ourselves. And then I think the nice thing too is. My wife and I, we do online teach with San Juan College and Dinette College. One thing that's important about it is 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 working and taking breaks, taking breaks uh, every couple of hours. And, you know, whenever you're in an online format, it's 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 not just eight to five or eight to three like a, like whenever you normally teach face to face. OK, but and here's the other thing that's that's important that, that I know that a lot of times you know, people are struggling with is is unemployment. I was looking at the Wall Street Journal, and they're predicting 20% unemployment. If it might have even surpassed that level, I mean, this is something that's impacting the financial markets, and you know, that's that's the part where people's retirements are in jeopardy. Their 401ks have have lost all the value 
Um, I think the last I heard was 20% of the value has been lost. You know, that's that, that's pretty substantial amount of money that that people are losing. So, you know, keep keep those things in mind. I think uh, when as we as we shelter in our homes and take care of ourselves, you know, remember to pray. I think that's one thing that we're trying to do. And I know my my wife has me rubber back and rubber feet so that she's, you know, to keep her calm and, and taking care of you. Even my little 11-year-old, uh, she'll put, put her feet up on my lap and say, where my feet, Dad? Okay, so, you know, those are, those are things, you know, taking care of taking care of uh, family and one another and you know I know it's been hard because you know my mom my mom texts me and asks me to come and help do you know help her and it's kind of tough to you know to, to say no to your parents that took care of you for years but you know I she is 68 67 or 68 years old and I don't I don't want to you know put her in jeopardy to to catch this virus, um, my wife, my wife's grandma lives in Navajo. We thought about taking a drive out there, but you know, there again, you know, she's in her late 80s and almost 90, and you know, you don't want to risk that. You don't want to risk infecting someone if, if we don't have to just by not visiting. So, I know you see bald head. I had to shave my head. I had went like four or five weeks without cutting my hair, and this weekend I had my wife just shave it off because it was starting to bug me but uh, if you guys have any questions please comment below uh, like uh, like the subscribe button and put a thumbs up on it that's how the videos get uh, sent out there but um, other than that you know uh, I'll try to do some of these updates uh, daily so that you know people out there listening can hear what's going on at the local level again check out that Johns Hopkins University website I, I linked it in the previous video I'll link it again in the bottom but that's where I'm getting my the data that, that I see um, you know remember wash your hands uh, do those things that, that uh, everyone is talking about doing you know protecting protecting ourselves like I like I said in the previous video we, we try to go around and wipe our door handles and wipe countertops and you know, very very cautious about about what we touch. Um, my my daughter got a package in from Amazon. Like we, you know, we just, I, I opened the package outside of the house and then brought the box inside and wiped the box, wiped down the box of uh, with uh, with well, not a glove. My my daughter said glove, but with a with a dish towel that was that we had you know put in the sink with Clorox in it and wipe the box down but yeah you can't be too careful my wife is listening she's giving me pointers my, my boss I call her my boss but but those are some things just to think about people I think the message that uh, our president Jonathan Nez said yesterday was was absolutely important and we need to hear that I think people there's still people you know when I had I just drove to work today for a mile and I saw people just out and about like it was like it was any Monday. I see people posting on social media saying that, oh yeah, people were driving around like like nothing's going on. Like it it needs to be serious like what happened on the Navajo Nation where people are like, well, police are going around with their bullhorn saying, stay inside. This is this is a serious situation uh, I saw another person post on Facebook saying 491 which is the highway that heads south of of uh, northern New Mexico it's, you know the the truck driver said she only saw one car that's what we need to see we need to see people at home staying at home for two to three weeks to to flatten that curve so please you know don't don't think about just you you know trust me I I want to be with my students. I'm, very, I'm an extrovert, and I want to be out with my staff. I want to be interacting with students. You know, that's I, I got to put that on hold. It's not about me. And you know, those are those are the things where we're we're doing this. We're staying at home to 
help society. Okay, we're helping society and keeping people alive. And I, I, it, it, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm hate to be political about this, but I can't believe how flippant our president is being of the United States about this whole thing. You know, it, it's got to. This is. It's a serious concern that we have here. I just shared those numbers with you. Those are exponential growth. That's those are some numbers that we got to take into account. Those are some, you know. I think the last I saw the 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 death, uh, the the mortality rate for this is like at four, three and a half to four percent. Last I saw, you know, that's the the common flu is uh, last I had seen was about like four point four percent. Okay, I mean someone can fact check that for me, but I I, I saw that a couple weeks ago because. You know, like I was saying, just curious about what people say out there. And, you know, we, we got to take this serious. Just please stay home, uh, social distance. Um, I know they're saying stay at home and shelter in place. We looked up what that meant, what that means to stay at home. I mean, you can still go on a walk. You can still go, you know, take care of yourself outside. In fact, the governor of New Mexico said five or less people in, in, a, in, a, in, in a grouping, okay? So please listen to what they're saying and uh, take this seriously, okay? Uh, again, this is Peter Deswood. If you have leave any comments below, I've already said that, but leave any comments below. Thank you. Hagonet. <laughs>